This video is sponsored by Fram, manufacturers of high quality filters since 1934. Visit Fram.com to learn more. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, if a 2019 or newer light vehicle rolls into your shop, there is a 1 in 3 chance that it will be turbocharged. While you may think turbocharged engines are all about boost pressures, the reality is that they are all about negative pressure. This is because the compressor wheel of the turbocharger pulls in air from the outside and can produce more negative pressure than a naturally aspirated vehicle. This increased negative pressure acts directly on the air filter. If an air filter is not engineered with the correct pleats, materials, and structure, the suction from the spooling turbo can cause the filter to possibly collapse and tear. This can allow unfiltered air to enter the engine. Eventually, the unfiltered air can cause the mass airflow sensor to become contaminated. The debris can also enter the motor and damage the cylinder walls, bearings, and the turbocharger. Even if the filter is engineered for turbocharged applications, it will fail if the owner procrastinates on replacement. As the filter collects the contaminants, it becomes clogged and creates a greater pressure differential between the two sides of the filter. The vacuum created by the turbo can rip it from the frame and tear the pleats. On some applications, the filter manufacturer will also use more rigid filter media to withstand the changes in pressure. So make sure you're not only using the correct make, model, and year, but also need to select the correct engine. Thank you for watching.